You've heard the saying, rules are meant to be broken. Jesus broke rules when it was necessary to show the love of God, not just in word, but in deed. For Jesus is the greatest commandment, surpasses all rules. As I said, love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength, and love your neighbor as yourself. Now, in addition to breaking the Sabbath rule, Jesus broke the rule about who could be included in the synagogue. A man with an unclean spirit, demon-possessed, would not be allowed in the temple or the synagogue. For the demon-possessed, the leper, the sinner, the tax collector, all of them were deemed unholy or unclean. And in order for them to be readmitted to the religious community in the synagogue or in the temple, they had to first atone for their sin, present a sacrifice unto the priest, a dove, a lamb, whatever the law required. The priest would then present that sacrifice to God to atone for and appease God so that this person might be forgiven. For the leprosy or the unclean spirit or any of those outward signs of blindness or lame were, were signs that you had sinned that God was punishing you for sin. And therefore, you had to make a sacrifice unto God to seek his favor. You want something real fun to do? Go and read Leviticus chapters 11 through 18, which describes all the unclean people and the unclean aspects and the rituals needed for cleansing and atonement. The unclean were deemed unholy and therefore could not be in the religious community. But in this story, Jesus, a prominent rabbi, a teacher, a holy man, should know the rules of unclean, should know the exclusion rules, but instead he is welcoming and loving towards this demon-possessed man. He does not drive the bad man out of the synagogue, but instead drives the bad out of the man. And he does the same for all sinners, including us. He does not drive the bad man out of the synagogue, but he drives the bad out of the man. He drives the unclean spirit out of the man. This is typical of Jesus rubbing shoulders with, welcoming the unclean and the unholy, the way he associated with the Samaritan woman at the well, the way he dared to touch the lepers who were deemed really unclean, rubbing shoulders with the unclean, the unholy, the ones who were on the outside. Are we afraid to do that? Maybe we don't want to hang out with the wrong people, however you define that in your mind. We may become tainted, we may become unholy ourselves, but Jesus always hang out with the, hung out with the wrong people. He even welcomed the children and let women sit at his feet to learn. Unheard of. Just this weekend, I had uh, read on my news feed an article about the polarization of our political culture. There's always been ways in which people gather around common views and values, but what social scientists have observed now is that these are not just policy and ideological um, commonalities that people are gathering around, but what is causing them to gather in these groups and be in such visceral opposition to the other is feelings. They call it affective polarization because it is not just based on ideological or policy differences, but it is based on feelings of hatred, intolerance, disdain. And so we see within our political culture this visceral, almost violent division. Gathering in groups of like people is common. It's it's tribalism from the very earliest of human nature. And even they've done experiments with children in classrooms. Put a group of children in a blue t-shirt and put some other ones without that t-shirt. The kids in the blue t-shirt group will exclude the kids without the blue t-shirt. And this was common even with the Jews. The holy, clean people were allowed in the synagogue. The outcasts, the sinner, the unclean were excluded. And Jesus dared to welcome this man And not only that, to heal him in the synagogue on the Sabbath. Are we following the rule of love, welcoming all people, rubbing shoulders with the hurting, the outcast, the people who don't think like us, the people who don't look like us, the people who are not in our tribe or group? Not too long ago, I saw a quote on Facebook 
be like Jesus. Spend enough time with sinners to ruin your reputation with religious people. Jesus ruined his reputation with religious people. The Pharisees, the scribes, the temple priests. He ruined his reputation with them. They sought to kill him and they did in the end. Because he violated those rules that they kept so closely so that they could be holy before God. 